morning folks, this is Darth Rabbit 07 coming to you today with another quick review. This is a long overdue, overdue long awaited update to the excellent Tarantulas character in the Beast Wars uh, Kingdom kind of teased it. We got everybody but him and Inferno to round up the season one Predacons and now we got it here on the turntable. Look at this most excellent box art. We got it right up and down the side there. Man, what I'd give to have had that back in the kingdom line. And there he is on the back. It's 19 steps. QR code for his bio. For those that don't know, pause and scan here for the UPC if you're still looking in store. And then one sheet again. And special big thanks to Tori Arena for getting these guys in, shipping them so quickly. And uh, thank you again. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe. And thanks again to all of my subscribers down below there in the description. Thank you, you guys rock. Let's get him out of the box and see how cool he really is. So what all comes inside of the box? Well, let's open this up. Right steps. We get the instructions showing you configurations right away out of the box. The steps to get him into his beast mode. And 19 steps, just like it says on the box, and weapon storage. And inside of that box is tarantulas hanging out the back side of that. Is his legs and backside. His ankles a little tilt coming out of the box. Uh, again, the bindings are there. And there's the tape that you don't want to throw away. Let's get him off of this and onto the turntable. And here is Tarantulas on the turntable, looking absolutely amazing. Before we get into that, we will take a closer look at his weapons that will combine into a crazy saw of doom or a crossbow uh, venom dart that he has in the show. They will separate and you can plug and fix in their hands. I'm glad all this was thought out and whatnot. And another cool thing that you can do is, let me see here, oh yeah. You can make it a super crossbow with a configuration like this. And he, it'll hang out further. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. But there's that. So that's enough time on the weapon accessories. And let's look at the bad boy himself on the turntable. And this is how I will, uh, configure his robot mode whenever he's not blasting away at the maximals and gosh it just looks amazing right down to the every detail that's on his chest and the way his chest looks i mean the all eyes are there and then the predacon symbol if i'm not mistaken is supposed to be up on the shoulder but i guess with the little bump they decided to throw it down on his leg there still it looks really fantabulous and uh, is, gosh, in hand, he just feels better. And I love that black arachnid where a lot of folks don't, but this is like even better. Uh, let's go around into articulation. He's got the rockers there at the heel. He can go that way, that way due to transformation probably. And upper thigh swivel. He gets this much the knee, which is really, really awesome. Probably also part of the transformation. Can kick back just about that far because of the the back side of the tarantula and can go all the way forward and I can almost want to bet he can get the full splits with the way that looks yep so you get the full van damage working your way up the body there you do get the rotation there at the waist that is always a big 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 plus uh, you can go all the way around on his arms uh, pretty easily he's got uh, upper bicep he's got at the the elbow to, to give it the wrist since his hand's so unique with the beast wars uh take like that he's got the five millimeter peg there and uh can go up that far and that's an, a lower cut that's just so cool that they thought of that all right and then on to let's see i don't know can these be positioned back even further i want to say yes these can be positioned back further so that you get a cleaner look there for the bot mode. We're gonna do that on both sides. So you can get that all the way back like you need it, like out of the way and whatnot. And, uh, oh, going up to the head, you can go all the way around, yep. But there is no, well, just a little bit of up and down, wiggly waggly 
and uh, I'm having trouble. My spinnerets are having trouble being still. My spinnerets, anyway, just a really, really awesome piece. Let's get them armed up with the underswung long crossbow I was telling you about. There he is geared up with his mat sign to saw. That's actually a prelude to his transmittal form with his single shot, you know, poison dart that he has crossbow and a spider specialty attack where they spread their legs and they pummel their opponents with several uh, bolts of firepower from their legs directly. That is just a really neat uh, feature that was uh, incorporated into both spiders for their re-releases and update figures as you see right here before us. Let's get them into beast mode and uh, show how awesome that uh, new tarantulas body is. Thanks again for watching. And here is tarantulas in his outstanding looking tarantula mode. Folks, this is beyond awesome. This is a really, really good rendition of tarantulas. I mean, he's got articulated legs and everything pegs and locks in together, beautifully cleans up. I mean, this is all that you get in the robot junk in the bottom there as it folded up extremely nicely. I just love that Predacon symbol there on his leg and uh just looks amazing that this just this surpasses my every expectation of a tarantulas and i'm hoping that this is a good indicator of things to come with the inferno that they really thought the engineering out got the stuff to lock and tab into place together and you can also add back both his weapons into storage here as well yeah uh, that's some really clever engineering and true to the toy and the show moving into some final thoughts on this beast mode wow the engineers really did nail this i love that this is true to both the show and the, t the toy and it was just like everything was thought of for this mode right here right down to the saw for the you know later on in his mad scientist part of himself just i'm i'm just speechless like you know just wow let's get him in robot mode and with robot mode a spider's game has never looked better in toy uh form as a mass retail release this thing is absolutely awesome incredible i love everything except for maybe the little waffly bits and they did leave out some excellent detail that could have been painted just like it was there on the back the same colors but i mean as far as retail releases and and engineering and whatnot, this is a very awesome tarantulas and or a setup for if they do a masterpiece, which they've got to. They've already got Black Ratney out there. We just need to get tarantulas in masterpiece form now. And a Spider's Game will be complete in both MP and retail forms. If you're a fan, this is a no-brainer. Uh, definitely go pick this guy up. He is awesome. If you find him online, don't hesitate. Uh, as of this video taping, I do not believe Amazon's sending out, but they've been jumping the gun here lately with a lot of releases, so it could be a ride around the corner there. It's also being found in retail and a couple of spots. Targets so getting them in across the country, plus uh, saw that uh, some big lots are getting them in as well. So uh, it'd still be like $24 for it. But uh, this, is, this is a worthy figure. Thanks again to all those who have subscribed and joined the journey. Please uh, like, share, subscribe. Continue to help this channel to grow. Thank you again to all those that have subscribed. I just really do appreciate you guys following me and uh, sh sharing your valuable time with me. Uh, if you're in a position to help, please consider donating to my Patreon. Uh, that uh, every, bit, every little bit helps, guys. So with that said and done, that's going to do it for the Tarantulas and Wave 2. I've uh, got two more figures coming up. i got Knockout and Alita 1. And i uh, got Wild Rider before him. So uh, thanks again to Toy Ran for sending it out fast. Make sure you guys, if you're in the LinkedIn area, check out Link, uh, Needless Toys down there. Tracy will hook you up. Even if you can't make it to the store, uh, he'll ship to you. So uh, that's down in the description below there as well. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Till all are one. Have a great day out there.